On tonight's episode, we drink some tea. <laughs> we drink some more tea. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, we find some rot. My mate Simon laughed this well to do in a Saturday afternoon. Welcome back. Last time we took delivery of a 1995 Rover 100 Cabrio that we bought sight unseen on eBay. Why? Well, we needed a 25 year old four seat convertible to take part in something called the 12 in 12 challenge. This involved traveling to Italy, joining in with a load of other classic car owners and driving over at least 12 Alpine passes in 12 hours. Now that sounds like fun. We know the car needs work. A lot of work. So let me introduce you to the team who will be doing it. I'm Mike, I work in IT, so it obviously makes sense for me to be the cameraman, the editor, the voiceover man, and occasional presenter. Don't worry, my presenting skills will improve over time. I hope. Next up, there's Simon. Some say he was born with a welding torch in his hand, and that he produces his own inert gases. All we know is, He's a bloody good welder. Finally, there's Matt. You can thank him for the quality output you're watching right now. It was his idea to create this YouTube channel. Matt has an attention to detail and such a high standard that it can only be described as anal. This drives Simon up the wall. <laughs> Matt is also the joker of the group, so if you ever see a bare ass in the background, it will be Matt. Together, we are the Crap Car Collective. <laughs> The unit contains more MG, Rover and old VL products that any sane person could ever want. This MG Maestro was bought from internet famous and award winning journalist Chris Pollock. Don't panic though viewers, it's turn will soon come. Other projects include this mini base Sabre that ran when parked. Simon is currently restoring this Austin 1300 GT. It's reasonably solid at the back, but the front end required a rework due to some badly fitted repair panels. Anyway, enough about the other cars we have. We're here to talk about the Mini Metro. No, no, it's different. It's called a Rover Metro now. They've rebadged it, you fool. We need to get the interior out so we can look at the rock and start working on it. First, the sill trims come out. The front seats are fastened in with four bolts. and the rear with two. Next, the seat belt anchors need to be removed. And finally, this thing called a cassette holder. Behind the cassette holder is the airbag sensor. You shouldn't touch this whilst the car has power, so we removed the battery and had a short tea break. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. He's called the twig twig. 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 Twig.
All right, back to work. Now the carpet was out, Simon got to work with his pointy hammer. So what are your thoughts then, Matthew? That bit's all right. A few people on the Metro Facebook group have told us to scrap it. Yeah, it's not the greatest example, but we're confident we can weld it up before September. Don't forget, this isn't a full-on restoration. It's a tight deadline, but if we do it, we should have an epic adventure that we would like to share with you all. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Project Skippy. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends if they like rovers and metros and stuff like that. Yeah. Nice, it's okay.